Hi Nick, in re uh, regard to that question about the uh, what sort of camera, I would go for a standard definition camera because if you go for a high definition one then, then you're getting uh, big upload sizes. But it's not really uh, down to the camera, it's down to the, how you uh, save the file at the end when you take it off the camera and uh, it depends on different formats. Uh, if you, if you save it on a low quality format then you get less megabytes. If you save it on a high quality format you'll get uh, more megabytes. Yeah. As I was saying the, the um, high definition cameras, it's, I've just got one given off a friend and it's just nothing but a pain in the bottom. Uh, finding out how it all works and stuff. But uh, I usually, I used to always save the file from the camera as a Windows Media file and those ones were quite a reasonable size but it, it's up to you, it depends what quality you want if you say, save it on lower quality then you've got less megabytes but um, you have to test it out yourself because it's an absolute minefield and uh, I can't really say how much a uh, 1 megabyte or 10 megabytes or 50 megabytes needs in time wise because there's so many parameters and it's a real jungle out there but I would go for the SD camera if you want to keep life relatively simple all the best Gary Hi Nick, in re uh, regard to that question about the uh, what sort of camera I would go for a standard definition camera Hi Nick, in re uh, regard to that question about the uh, what sort of camera I would go for a standard definition camera. Hi Nick, in re uh, regard to that question about the uh, what sort of camera. I would go for a standard definition camera. Hi Nick, in re uh, regard to that question about the uh, what sort of camera. I would go for a standard definition camera. Hi Nick, in re uh, regard to that question about the uh, what sort of camera. I would go for a standard definition camera.